how long has it been since that time? There was a time when our soldiers felt proud to serve for honor and glory. Many of my brothers in arms were ready to fight the French as soon as we were sent into mainland Europe. But, once we wished to go our own way, things came back to haunt us. Isn't that ironic? <sighs> if only you two were still around to recall that twilight. A letter from our old commander. Allow me, Henry. Uh, that damnable commander. What does he seek from us now? Calm down, Sir William. Raid is not needed, even if he is a most despicable man. To the traitors of the Legion of St. Thomas Becket, by the grace of God, I, your commander, Sir Sigismund Goddahurst, hereby order you to surrender your arms and return as our prisoners, or we shall inform His Majesty, King Henry VI, of your actions, and you will be hanged upon arrival back home in England. You have until July 17th. As of writing this, it is July 10th. Make do with this information as you will, but prepare to face the consequences. Sir Sigismund Goddahurst. Damn it! I told you his treachery towards us would cause something like this. For what does he need us for? His men amass in thousands. Lest we forget, Captain, that the French make great gains across our land. King Henry may have no choice but to surrender. And what of this letter? <laughs> what choice lay before us? We might as well comply before they or the French slit our throats. These actions would not be wise. We know what Gotterhurst is like. What we need to do is get out of Gascony sooner rather than later. <laughs> Most certainly. But if we do encounter the enemy, shall we not give them the blade and cannon shot as always? Of course. Skirmishing will only happen if necessary should the situation arise. And the Reverend Father? Let us make haste, comrades. other territories being ceded. It is our will blessed by the king to finish what was started. This situation has been ideal, Sir Goldhurst. The Frenchmen have us backed into a corner, especially at Castle and Bourg. Beyond our backs is only the mighty sea. Henry is guilty of so much. His legion, may it be shamed by the Lord, could allow us to further hold the castle for however long we permit. The senses can still be met. They still have five days. Don't let hopes pry you, Captain. I know Henry. He never wishes to be a man standing in the shadow of a bigger man. He has, and always will, be his own knight. If I may ask, Commander Sigismund, what sparked their withdrawal from our forces? Such matters can be discussed later, Captain. The remaining bodies left on the fields must be attended to. Yes, sire. Your days are numbered, Henry. Blessed Father, our legion hath make way upon your church to carry your blessings. Brave Sir Henry and mighty Sir William, it is an honor to see you too and Captain Bassey once more. Father, we seek to get you in no sorts of quarrel with those battlefields, but how has this region held up in French hands? 
Quite well, blessed by the Lord. The French wish to make no moves against the church, but they move against Castle Le Beau, headed by your old commander. Wait, what? Have they already tried, Father? I do believe they launched a small raid on the castle just two days ago. It ended in failure, I believe. Was Sigismund harmed in combat? Nay, he hid in the fortified walls like the coward he is. But, my good sires, William and Henry, for why do you stay in this land? The French could find you and kill you at any moment. Options are limited, I'm afraid. If we make any attempt to enter the castle, we would be deemed as enemies to no more than the Frenchmen. Indeed, it's a rather dire state of affairs. If I may ask, Reverend Father, who commands the French forces in this area? I do apologize, Captain, but I fail to remember his name. Are there any details you can tell us? Anything that can prepare us for who our legion might encounter? I do know there is certainly a French commander. He is considered by many as being of noble birth. Sounds honorable enough. Either way, we will try and do our best to avoid conflict with either his forces or Sigismund's. Thank you, Father. May God be with ye. It's time, Henry. Soldiers, now is the time. You know the threat Goda Hurst poses. It's just as important as the French. Our plan is simple. We shall make our way north, cross through Bordeaux, and make it to the coast. We have reason to believe sailing ships could be available there. But until we make it there, we must avoid any and all confrontation with either Gutterhurst or the French. We shall do this in the name of St. Thomas Becket, God and all that is righteous. Forward march. Something isn't right. We cannot display cowardice, Percy. It affects the morale of the men. I know that, but... He's right. Look. Hire Anonymous. Go inspect the men. He's dead. Called to. Stab, they think. Hire Anonymous. Get back. Hold steady. And is that you? Who are you? Who is this? I am General Pierre de Vacoy, Lord of the Vacoy. Why are you here? Why did you kill High Anonymous, you bastard? Forgive me, Signor Chamberlain. I believe there is no other way to more properly introduce ourselves. Well, you have captured us. What do you intend to do? Execute us all? None. Such will not happen. Rather, I offer unto you an accord. In accord? Sonia Chamberlain, we will not kill you. However, we need your help. Help? You killed Hiram! William? I will admit, asking for our assistance after killing one of us is rather risky. Look, our apologies, but this is incredibly important. It concerns Godhurst. Wait, Sigam is Godhurst? Indeed. If my spies have told me correctly, your forces broke off from him. Thus, I believe we have common interests. Look, I'm willing to listen to what he has to say. But he could easily wipe us out. While I must admit that your methods are questionable, I'd be willing to collaborate against a common foe. Even if that means to go against the crown? They would find out we broke off. If we manage by God's grace to vanquish Godhurst and his forces, perhaps negotiations will allow you to return home despite your seeming treachery. Considering the circumstances, this is favorable. Well, my good sir, consider this a deal. <laughs> You've made a good choice, Englishman. This fortress looks impregnable. Fellow Englishmen, as I've mentioned before, we are at the crossroads between the inevitable end of this war in our favor and your appreciated commitments which can bear you many gifts. Well, have you already mentioned that we have no choice but to support your efforts? Correct. 
But how do you suppose us going against Sigismund will allow us to be sent back to England with no scars? For if anything, thy crown will be most displeased. What do the French even see in Castle Laborg that's so liable? Sure, it's a royal fief. There are far better pursuits. Englishmen, Englishmen, for you forget that the war draws to its end soon, and Laborg shall be in the final field where blood will get spilled? Meaning? Meaning your government will have no choice but to accept the conditions we lay before King Henry VI. As you mentioned, your freedom from execution will be a part of these negotiations. Henry, this Pierre is reasonable. Yet let us not forget that he could potentially blackmail us. You know the treachery the French can pose. What choices lie in front of us, William? Sigismund has gone mad and seems to think this war is winnable for the king despite the heavy losses. He's also rather arrogant and has left us to recognize him as our enemy. Not these Frenchmen. If you two believe this to be the best decision, so be it. Even with these cowardly Frenchmen. It's settled then. What is our next move? We believe the best choice of action is to distract them with our own artillery and isolated infantry assaults. Their artillery will prove a problem, so if we can keep them distracted, it will allow for the plan. And that is? A group of my men and yours will construct a ladder after sneaking behind the castle walls, which is surrounded by the nearby forest and mountain range. Once the sappers finish, William and you will lead the main assaults on the castle walls, while I lead the main force into the castle itself. We will meet up at the top. This seems to be appropriate. I do believe that the Legion will have to be split under both my and your command, yes? Indeed, Percy will be in command of the contingent of your men under my army. And what of my Black Knights? They will act as the main raiding party once you breach the walls. So it's settled then. When do we move out? Indeed it is. We shall enact this plan on the 17th. Captain, the gate's been jammed for over two hours. We can't release it from the chains. Blast! We need to construct a barricade immediately. Use anything that can last. Yes, Captain. Sir Goldhurst, inform us have briefed me on some devastating news. The French? We already have problems as it is. Worse, we believe Sir Henry and his knights are working together with the French to strike our armies. He's gone mad. Any chance he had left to live is now nothing but squash because of his foolishness. It doesn't seem like they had much of a choice, sir. Of course. <sighs> Strong armed into fighting with the French or not, Henry must have planned at least some of this out. General Goderhurst, we have been unable to cut the gate free. Damn it! At this point, this threadbare castle is going to fall to the enemy without even needing to fire a single cannon. Sir. Wait, wait. I have an idea. We have enough materials to construct a makeshift barricade, no? Yes, I believe so. The horse stables and storage cellars should be adequate enough. Baron Wesley. Make haste to your men and tell them to begin searching for access materials. Captain, follow me. We're at the crossroads. My friend General Talbot makes his way to Castilian and intends to take the castle there. And here, the forces of the French and Henry march towards us to take what's rightfully ours. Indeed. We need to ensure that he will pay and that the French will be repulsed. This is our last chance to have favorable negotiations as this war ends. I'm sure you know that very well by now. Soldiers of England, soldiers of His Majesty Henry VI, we must establish a barricade in the gate, as you may know of its current state. But beyond that, we must prepare to vanquish both the invader and treachery. As you know, our former comrade Henry has betrayed us. Let us strike him down. The host of the Legion and the French shall arrive tomorrow. I'd go prepare the rest of the fortifications with the men. I must consult what His Majesty has written to me. Yes, sir. Henry, may God have mercy on you and your lackeys, because I shall not. This is it, Castle Lamborg. William, are you prepared? It should only be a brief scouting mission, my friend. Indeed. I shall only get within a hundred feet of that dastardly Sigismund. I shall make my way back once I am finished. Now remember the plan. Any errors could cost us dearly.
Stay close, men. We mustn't get killed now. Yes, sir. <laughs> Dear God! We have to run! Now! <laughs> Did you see that? We finally got one of those shit eaters! William, no! Quiet, Englishman. We don't want them to hear us, too. It seems we've been discovered. Not exactly. They found him, not us. We must stay still in our fortifications. Are we not to head over in his area? He might still be alive. You damn Frenchman! I'm sorry, Henry. It appears he is lost to us. Sigismund shall pay dearly, but we mustn't let our emotions block our destinies. Henry, look. You know damn well that he knew the risks. Enough! We must prepare for the attack. May I remind you all that right now the castle has few men and is in need of repairs. I know, but... The time to strike is now! Right. Well done, Captain. This is the most splendid news. Why was he alone? Not sure, I'm afraid. We have looked into surrounding regions and have found no one else outside the fort of the Frenchman built. Hmm. Very well then. Keep our men on alert. He could have been sent as part of a scouting mission. Men of France, are you ready? Now remember, Williams Black Knights, your common men and some of my raiders are under your command to break into the back. Just as we discuss, right? Right. Fire! Far greater, too. You mustn't worry, Sir Sig. I shall send the English troops to fight them head off. Wake up, lads! The French have come to attack again! General Henry, the ladder is under construction as we speak. Alright, now lift it. Once it's been set upwards, throw the bowels down. <laughs> oh, Sir Henry, what an honor to see such a fool like you here. I knew very well you would come for me. You caused all of this. 
and in the name of God, I shall strike you down. You managed to keep your swordplay well. Sigismund! Commander Godhurst, the fight is ours. Surrender now and you shall be spared. Damn it all! Your shit for Brain's troops are still no match against me alone. But if you insist... Yeah. Ah. You bastard! Henry, Symphony, we did it. We did. We did do it, Pierre. I shall keep my word to you, and Henry, you will make it home. Henry, once we manage to get out of here, let's go get William. Indeed, Captain, indeed. William, you fought valiantly. May God remember you, old friend. I'll bury him, you go. The French captain says he will deliver Pierre's promise. <laughs> <laughs>